current this week is obviously your announcement on the tourism yeah. boost. And just a little bit about your role now as Regeneration Minister. You're listening to Radio Cumney on 87.8 FM. It's Angela with you and I'm delighted to say that uh, we've been joined in the studio today by uh, our Assembly Member for the Rhonda. That is, of course, uh, someone who needs no introduction, but uh, Leighton Andrews. But well, I'm delighted to be here and I know that uh, when Radio Company was on air in last summer, it got a very good listenership across, uh, across the constituency, actually, because I could pick it up uh, as far down south as Trialau, I know, when I was driving around the constituency and a lot of people have uh, emailed me afterwards to say they wanted it to come back on air so I'm glad you're back on air. This time around we're on the net so uh, should hear but expats if you like can hear us wherever they are. Well I'm glad about that because uh, obviously a lot more radio is going out over the internet and it's good to have Rhonda voices on the internet as well uh, and I think you know particularly younger people these days they like to work on their computers but maybe have something going on in the background so let's hope they can listen to voices from the Rhonda while they're, they're working on the computers. And obviously it's a, it's a, it is a fun project and it's a, it's really good for uh, the residents of Treherbert but to have their own radio station because even even now they find it hard to believe that they have that uh, so it is great fun and we've got loads of uh, volunteers that were involved last time that are involved this time, new ones as well and it's not just presenters on air that, that people will hear, but there's lots of people behind the scenes. And uh, of course, I think that you know the, the, the part that's relevant there is there's lots of people just for the first time getting um, used to using IT. And uh, it's certainly uh, something that we're very aware of that um, you know there's still a big need out there, obviously, for uh, IT skills with, with even young people that we perhaps think. Uh, you know, are so much further advanced than us, but it's not necessarily so. No, well, I think that's true, and I think you know people uh, would be um, unhappy saying they you know didn't have um, skills of reading or writing, but quite a lot of people are still happy to say they don't understand computers. Say, and we we need to break down the barriers, and I think one of the great things we've seen in recent years with the provisions of computers in libraries that people have been uh, using and uh, schemes like. Uh, uh, the, the radio scheme here and the overall communities of one program that the assembly government runs um, is that we're getting people from all walks of life, all ages, uh, using computers sometimes for the first time, using digital cameras, learning how to put photographs on the web, learning how to do newsletters, learning how to use email. Um, I've met uh, you know pensioners in the Ronde using computers for the first time, putting posters together for their clubs and societies. Uh, the whole series of people are getting involved. It's really good to see that. 